did, they, they refused to believe a lot of things. It's really, isn't that fascinating? I had to, I had to have discussed it because they wanted me had to have discussed it. <laughs> it goes back to the thing about affirmative action. You have to believe in affirmative action because we think you ought to believe in affirmative action. Well, how's that different from slavery? How's that different from segregation? How's that different from being told you can't walk across that park? Oh, you can't think those thoughts. How's that any different? You know what? I'd prefer to be excluded from the park because I can live my life quite freely without having set foot in a park. But you can't live it freely without having your own thoughts. I felt as though in my life, I had been looking at the wrong people as the people who would be problematic toward me. We were told that, oh, it's gonna be the bigot in the pickup truck, it's gonna be uh, the Klansman, it's gonna be uh, the rural sheriff. And I'm not saying that there weren't some of those who were bad, but it turned out that through all of that, Ultimately, the biggest impediment was the modern-day liberal, that they were the ones who would discount all those things because they have one issue or because they, can, they have the, authority, the power to caricature you.